Wario Land Shake It on the Wii is a video game featuring Cozy's throws to the old school nagging formula that is both uprising artistic, creative, and just visually great done to look at. Starts off with Sneezy Dong folding Wario, rushing his split brain and thinking about gold this, gold in that. Pretty much basically he wants to be rich like Donald Trump and a crunch burrito giving the Taco Bell King what he wants. It has a sparkling robe of troglodyte characters that are embarking to five-eyed, reluctant worlds that mysterious wonder for Wario to explore, so he can get that tasty trunk of treasure and a bottle and pot. Firstly, let's talk about the music. Some tracks are just an accomplice to a powered music note to make your feet dance to Jiggling Storm, or just nod your head back and forth because no matter what opposing thing you do, the music is justified a classic video game soundtrack that is writing your name on the heaven cloud pillow as God gives you a spank of major accomplishment. Talented composer. The levels go to Jungle Scapes, the downfield winter wonderland of ancient pyramids, to a slushy hot volcano, erupted mountain, to an air wavy castle, to a casino taking your cash droplets away in a millistone second, all of the above, and many other areas I didn't mention, especially the best track in the game for music and sightseeing is the runaway train section. The bosses are what make this game a higher tolerable score. Some of them are very tad-biting creatively designed and very fun as you figure out their frustrating patterns. This game requires challenge and roots drama patience. I'm dead flag lifting serious. It's no joke sometimes. It's funny and cleverly written on folding paper, but the levels are easier than my grandpa rocking around the edging floor giving me a pistol to shout about over something stupidly wretched. Art, what else can I say? There are some areas that are stickiness repeated in various zooming wipe instances, but a lot of the stage areas are very funky and footwork drawing sketches are just the traps of bright difficulty chambers of flavor all over the gratitude meter, while Warrior doesn't look like a fat board whipping the turtle into a shape of victory. The enemy's pretty basic elements in a Super Mario Cyclone, but it's not nauseating or quenching to be much of a partial problem. Tons of soil and sap replay ballistic value you get here while collecting your gold buddies aka coins it can make you redeem special things you need for the game or just hitting unlockable options that will give you more gameplay triggering time pretty much it's a hyper realistic animal driven game with standout creativity and that's how it sums up in this Wii gem trove drove classic the bad well the sound effect can be left out when you enter a first selected area you get a scratch screeching noise that can be a chit chat irritating and that can make the game very terrible in some people's purple shadow eyes. Another thing that's very short, you can beat this game roughly in 5 or 6 hours, depends how you frill in deep and beyond. Last of the areas do become initiated as a resource of copying the same idea over and over, and I'm just going to let you a big gusty fart cloud out of Oreo's ass cheeks right now and say that's the truth, ladies and gentlemen. For what I played, this game is Poinsalelia entertaining and a blast to play if you're just playing it for the first time. Like I said, you get away from the frustrated entries and just continue on your journey and keep going until the chunk and air dunk of satisfaction in this treasury strag lighting game that is just perfect, but with a little issues, it can be a letdown to most. I give this game a 9.8 slash 10. Almost a 9.9 slash 10, but I think that's fair. And this is so much better than Yoshi's Woolly World and Kirby's Epic Yarn in so many methods. If we were talking about zany different flopping creativity that delivers a spine in your mind, I think I'm correct. Love the Burrito Master.